Okay, so today is day trip day. We are headed out. Um, I'm not exactly sure where Kurt won't tell me, but I, I know we're starting in Wakefield, Virginia. We're gonna hit the Smithfield Diner. That's kind of a iconic Virginia place and you need to check it out. Um, and then we are headed to a state park, Chip Oaks State Park. So we will see how that goes. Phoebe's in the back. There she is, Phoebe. Hey, Phoebes. There she is. She's ready to go. She's already sleeping. And uh, we got Kurt driving. So buckle up. Not because Kurt's a bad driver, but wink, wink. All right. See ya. Okay, so we made it. We are here in Wakefield, Virginia. If you're from Virginia, you probably at least know that name if you've never been here. Wakefield is where the National Weather Center is. So there's some important people that live here in Wakefield because they're keeping you safe from tornadoes. Anyway, so we have made it to the Virginia Diner. I think I wrongly said the Smithfield Diner. No idea why, but we're at the Virginia Diner. Um, they are famous for their home style Southern cooking. And we're gonna go check it out. They're also famous for their peanuts. As you can see, it says peanut capital of the world. So, you know, we'll find out. Um, the peanuts are a big crop around here in, in Wakefield. So that is a thing. And as always, this place is packed. And uh, let's go see if we can find a seat. All right, thanks. Okay, so we're pulling into Chip Oak State Park. Our bellies are still full because I forgot to tell you what we ate. We shared a combo platter that had Virginia ham and fried chicken because we had to try both and then we shared a piece of peanut butter pie so yeah we're really full and we need to walk this off so I'm hoping this is a good trail and we'll see how this goes campground huh you can come camping Phoebe are you excited <laughs> there's Bert he's excited oh look Phoebe's got her head out the window she's ready to go walk in Historic area. You want to go to the historic area first? I definitely want to go to the historic area. Okay. You know me so well. So there's a plantation on here. We'll have to find out some history about it. Because, as you know, Virginia is full of history. Virginia's got a lot of things. We've got the mountains to one side, the beach to the other, Washington above us. There is always something to do. So, Ross's dad was the manager of Gray Lumber Company. So, his bosses, the Gray family, owned all of this. I want to say it was close to 2,000 acres. And that's a little history lesson from Mr. Reichstetter. So, here, this must be part of the original farm. So we are about to leave Chip Oaks Park. I have no idea where we're going next, you won't tell me. But anyway, Chip Oaks was beautiful. It is January, so keep in mind it's a little dreary, but it is 70 degrees here in Virginia in January. Um, there's picnic shelters and playgrounds and a visitor center, and there's a trail that goes down to the beach. I'll post some pictures later. Um, the old historic plantation is also here and they have tours and some grounds to walk around definitely worth the trip to Surrey County. Okay, so we 
have reached our next destination and you see all the cars in front of us. They are all lined up to go on the ferry. <laughs> Plantation and Upper Shirley Vineyards. We got some horses in here. Oh, there's the plantation. started in uh, Wakefield, Virginia at Virginia Diner, some good old fashioned Southern home style cooking. And we then went to, oh my, the roads, Chip Oak State Park and great place. I'd love to go there in the summer. There's a good beach. There was camping, there was a swimming pool, um, some trails and the old plantation was still there. So that was kind of cool. And then where did we go, Kurt? Uh, we hit the ferry. It's got <laughs> oh, that's more. right. We yep. went and uh, took the ferry across the river. Phoebe enjoyed that. And uh, then we headed back on Route 5 and stopped at Shirley Plantation. That did not go well. I am not happy with Shirley Plantation, but it is one of our... They have a uh, winery there, and we were going to stop, but uh, no one would actually acknowledge us. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, that was a great day trip and all things that I would suggest you should visit. And you could take your dog to them, most of them. Not Shirley Plantation, they don't let dogs, so that's another point against them too. All right, have a great time. Don't forget, this is Heather with Sold by Kurt and Heather, and we are here for all your real estate needs, as well as showing you around the state. <laughs>